Well, hi there. Welcome to School of the Spirit. Another exciting episode where we discuss um, matters that concerns the believer's walk um, with the Holy Spirit. Um, basic understanding on how to interact with the realm of the Spirit and how it affects um, a believer's growth and edification. I believe that you have been, if you have been following um, from the previous episodes, that you've been really blessed and edified by the things you've heard. Um, I believe that it's getting more exciting and more um, revelatory in contents because, see, that's the God we serve. His, his depths cannot be fathomed. We just keep going deeper and deeper into depths of his wisdom and his knowledge. That's what um, Romans chapter 11 verse 33 says. It says, Oh, the depths of the unsearchable riches of the wisdom of God. So we just keep exploring new depths of revelatory insights um, in the spirit that will make for our growth and our edification. And I salute you for staying glued to all of these episodes. Let's pray and get on with uh, the episode of today. Father, I thank you for the wisdom and the understanding that you supply to us by your spirit. And let this make for our access into depths and heights of experiences with you. Open the eyes of my viewers in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. So let's get on. Um, in the previous episode, we, we started talking about impressions. I told you that God speaks by a deep impression in our spirits. Impressions are images that are created by the Spirit impressed on our minds. So our mind is where understanding is so that we're able to comprehend the things that we behold or the things that we interact with in the realm of the Spirit. You know, as a believer and a new creature in Christ Jesus, you are now spirit, soul, and body. So your spirit is the part of you that is conscious of the life of God, that interacts with God, that interacts with the realm of the spirit. And then your mind, is, um, which is part of your soul, is the organ for understanding and um, for relating the realities that exist in the realm of the spirit with physical templates how does what you interact with in the realm of the spirit how does it affect the physical the realm of manifestation and material so that's what we've been discussing and um, impressions which to a large extent are both visual and audio these impressions are communicated messages from the realm of the spirit into our space our domain and it there is needful for you to understand exactly what you are seeing or you are hearing that has been impressed if God impresses it in your mind, it's a sign that it's from God and God wants you to come into the understanding of the reality that you are interacting with part time. That's why it is impressed on you. So I'll, I'll take us through some practical situations in scripture and we'll see how we can wrap it up just so we can come into a practical understanding on or how it works because I believe that God wants to activate um, your understanding of um, words or images that are impressed in your mind now you know our soul consists of 
our mind, our emotions, and our will. These are the three components of your soul, your mind, which is where your thoughts and imaginations are, your emotions, which is um, the seat of feelings, and then your will. This is the decision-making part of your soul, where your judgment about life comes from. So the mind, which is a component of the soul, I believe is divided into two. There is the aspect of our mind, which has to do with thoughts and reasoning. Um, the Greek word for that is dialogismai. Dialogismai. You know, it has to do with reasoning and thoughts. So that's the part of your mind where you information comes as thoughts and you try to analyze what you what you are getting in the impulses coming in but then there's another part of our mind which is our imaginations this is pictoria this is where we see things um, we, we 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 experience images being transmitted into our minds or impressed into our minds. So for the aspect of reasoning and thoughts, it means that they flow in information, in informative terms, and it means that they come as words. But in the aspect of imaginations, they come as image. So a message can be impressed on your mind either as a word or as an image. Of course, a word is supposed to produce an image. So it means that whether it is audio or visual, there is a place where they interact. Now, with this, we are already touching some places in the prophetic, which I believe will benefit you as you get to um, watch and listen. For instance, if I say, if I mention the word dog, it was a word I mentioned. And you heard it but no sooner have you heard it that an image has been created in your mind that means that whatever you hear you are definitely supposed to see to aid your understanding that's why in the previous episode I read first uh, John chapter 1 verse 1 where John the Apostle in his episode mentioned you know the different stages of interacting with reality from the realm of spirit he said that which we have heard which we have seen which we have looked upon and our hands have handled even the word of life turn with me to, to job chapter 42 verse 5 let me show you something verse 5 he says, I've heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eyes see you. I've heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eyes see you. So definitely what you hear, which is audio or audible, should translate into a vision or a visual image or a visual impression that you should see because hearing and seeing plays a role in our understanding or perceiving of reality or perception of reality in proverbs chapter 12, 20 verse 12 the bible says that the hearing ear and the seeing eye the lord made them both so when god impresses a word in your mind it's a reality in the realm of the spirit that God is trying to transmit to you but it comes in an audible form and I'm not talking about something you hear with your ears no there are uh, realms of oppression for a believer where sometimes the Holy Spirit will allow your physical hearing to capture a spiritual sound there are moments like that just the way the Holy Spirit can um, grant access to your physical eyes to be able to behold spiritual 
realities. Um, in the prophetic, it's called open visions. But then, most often, it's a hearing that is within, in your mind. And it happens through the dichotomy of your thoughts or your reasoning, that part of your mind that has to do with information. It processes or analyzes things as information, as words. So Job said, I've heard of you with the hearing of the ears, but now my eyes see you. So this hearing is a hearing that is within. That is why in the book of Revelation, when Jesus would talk to John, he would say, let him that hath an ear. And of course, as human beings, we have two ears. In fact, most mammals have two ears. So by, why, the, why would the Bible say, let he that hath an ear? It was talking about a hearing that is within, a hearing that is locked up in the mind that should translate into visual impressions for better understanding. So this is how it works. And God uses these impressions to communicate messages to us of realities that exist in the realm of the spirit, informations, messages that should be explored, that should be understood, that will make for our advantage. So let's look at some other examples. In Exodus chapter 33, Moses was having a conversation with God. Moses was a very interesting character in the scriptures. He had encounters with God that allowed him access to divine communications that were very scarce during his time. And all through you see Moses talking with God from verse 1 of that chapter down to the very end. From verse 18, and he said, Please show me your glory. Then he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before you. I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. I will be com I'll have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But he said, You cannot see my face, for no man shall see me and live. And the Lord said, Here is a place by me, and you shall stand on the rock. So it shall be when my while my glory passes by, that I will put you in the cleft of the rock and will cover you with my hand while I pass by. Then I will take away my hand and you shall see my back. I think it's King James that says you shall see my hinder parts, but my face shall not be seen. So Moses had a visual impression according to God. He showed Moses his back. But remember, it all started by God speaking to him. And then as he heard, he began to have visual images of what he was hearing. So God said, I will put you at the cleft of the rock. And when I pass by you, I will cause you to see. So it's more like a hearing that triggers your ability to see. So you begin to have an image formed in your mind about what you are hearing. Just like if I say dog, you heard it, but then an image has been formed in your mind. And if there are two people and I say dog, the images that will be formed in their mind will be different. Maybe the same, but they will have different perspectives. So you see, this is another thing to in impressions that uh, it comes with perspectives. So we see things from different angles or we hear things from different perspectives and that affects the significance of the message of what we have experienced. Because when God showed Moses his back path, that was a perspective, a view that Moses had. And I believe, I mean, it's not written black and white, but I believe that some of the revelations that Moses had about Genesis, that he was able to write down, occurred because of this encounter. 
he was able to see the back parts of God. He was able to go back in time to witness the creation story. All to the Garden of Eden, the flood, to the patriarchs and all of that. So you see, having the impression is one thing. And then the perspective of the impression is another as it relates to the understanding of the message that is being communicated. Because it's needful for you to understand. Um, let's look for another personality. Maybe Daniel. Um, in Daniel chapter 7. Verse 28, Daniel just finished having a visionary encounter. He said, this is the end of the account. As for me, Daniel, my thoughts greatly troubled me and my countenance changed. But I kept the matter in my heart and mind. Why? He was trying to process what he had just heard, what he had just seen. So one of the ways to come into the understanding of spiritual impressions is you will need to engage the art of meditation that information that word you heard or that image you saw you may need to put it in your mind and begin to meditate on it again in psalms 4 verse 4 i'm coming back to daniel but in psalms 4 verse 4 the bible says stand in the way and sin not he said, meditate within your heart on your bed and be still. So you need to engage in the art of meditation where your mind keeps turning over an image or a word, seeking to gain in-depth understanding, a detailed analysis of an information or an image so you can gain understanding because Understanding is revealed in details. And you only get that details when you, or those details when you begin to process or analyze exactly what you have seen. Now, the Bible tells us in Proverbs 20, 27, that the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. That such is the inward part of the belly. And you know that every candle for it to be efficient needs to be lit. You need to light the candle. So the Spirit of God sorts of broods on our mind. He uses our mind like a search machine. You have Google on your phone that can search, but you need data to empower Google to search. So that's what the Holy Spirit does. And then it takes your mind, and as you begin to analyze these things by the energy of the Spirit, you begin to come into the details, the nitty-gritty of what you have seen or what you've heard. And that's when understanding comes in. And I believe that we have, many of us right now have had these kinds of impressions. Um, either as words or as images. Definitely what you hear will always produce images so you can have clearer understanding. I pray that God will breathe upon our minds. I want you to practicalize these little um, steps I've broken down. Practicalize it on a day, daily, um, your daily schedule when you pick an impression either as a word or as an image from God, learn to focus on it by the art of meditation and by the Holy Spirit begin to analyze its detail. And that's when understanding comes in. The second and the last in understanding spiritual impressions is in asking the Holy Spirit, in asking the Holy Spirit. Let's see probably an example of that and then we'll, we'll be done. You would need to learn how to ask the Holy Spirit. Now, there's something, there's what I call meditative prayers, 
where you are praying within you, but it's a prayer of a search, a deep search, trying to inquire about something. So you must realize that when you're having a spiritual experience, the Holy Spirit takes your mind and your spirit into this experience. So it is possible to communicate within. It is possible that whilst you are seeing something, you're having a visionary experience or a word is being impressed in your spirit, right there through your thoughts, you can ask. It's like asking yourself a question and then giving answer to what you are asking. That's how it works. It's like you're asking a question in your mind and the answer is also coming in your mind. But you and I know it's beyond you because this is not something you could fathom physically or as a person. It is the Holy Spirit that your mind is interacting with. Because you see, your mind, which is in your soul, is the organ for interaction that the spirit man uses to, re, you know, to interface between the spiritual and the physical. So sometimes you see some of the prophets, they will ask the angels that were sent to supply them visionary impressions. What means this? What means that? And you see, Daniel had the custom of praying and fasting until answers were brought to him, either through more visions or through angelic messengers. In the New Testament, now we have the Holy Spirit that brings us into clear-cut understanding. The Bible says in Colossians 1 verse 9 that we will be filled with the knowledge of His will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. And then in Ephesians 1 18, that the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened. So God gives your mind by the Holy Spirit the ability to both question and answer the things that you see. So you can learn to come into the um, understanding of visual or audio impressions that you have by asking in your mind the Holy Spirit. You learn to exercise it. You just keep that image or keep that word on your mind. Focus on it till the Holy Spirit begins to reveal the details or focus on it and begin to ask Him within. And then He begins to bring it one after the other. Sometimes that impression may stay in your mind for days and then later on the understanding begins to come because the Holy Spirit has brooded upon the analytical process of your mind to be able to bring you the answer. All I'm trying to say is, you know, contrary to what many people think, when it has to do with spiritual ex experiences, your mind is a tool in the hands of God. That is why God is interested in supplying us with understanding, spiritual understanding, upgrading our understanding so we can function with the energy of the Spirit. Well, that's all we can take for now because of our time. I believe we'll have more videos on impressions, but we'll keep talking about practical experiences. The idea is so that you can articulate and clearly define what you're experiencing with God right now and then grow to gain mastery in it. But I want to pray for you now that God will fill you with his wisdom and upgrade your understanding into the practicality of these things. Father, I pray for my viewer. Breathe upon their mind, Lord. Bring them into the conscious experience and the practical understanding of these things that are taught. Let them come into a state of mastery and be able to help others. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next episode.